How would you see the world if you experience it in my shoes? For years, I've been traveling for work, seeing the world firsthand, but being unable to communicate to others what I see and how I feel. So a few years ago, I decided to teach myself how to film. Armed with a couple of lenses, a microphone, and a semi-professional camera, I began to record my unscripted life. What you are about to see is a slice of my life filmed between March and June of 2016, as live in my shoes. Yes. Oh, it is cut. Do you want to help me make some coffee? We're well, having breakfast together. What do you like better, the chleb, the eggs, the berries, the mango, or the kashka? The kashka and the chleb and cheese. You like everything. Yeah. It is the here so your underwear and pampers and your clothes and papa is going to dress you. Let's make a deal. I read you one story from this book and then we get dressed. Yes. Okay, good deal. The yeah. one of the maps, yeah? Oh, okay. Donald Duck and the buried treasure. And they open the chest and it's full of gold coins. It's full of treasure. <laughs> and then they say, bye-bye. The end. Okay. There's no more. No, but you said one story and now we get dressed. I need, I need the pie. You need, you need the story of the pie? Yes. But let's put the pants first and then we do the story of the pie. So let's start by taking these pyjamas off. No, I don't need them. No! Let's see what we have for today. We have this one. <laughs> nice. Yeah. And we have these black pants. Wow, these are nice, huh? You like this? Yes. Yeah, do you want to put this on? No. Wow, this is going to look so good, no? No. What? Nope. Let's, let's try. We got you there. It was all a technique from Papa to distract you a little bit. We change your pampers. Now we're gonna put on the Peppa Pig shirt. You gonna run away? You gonna run away? Yeah. Uno. Manito, manito. Help me out a little bit. Un, dos, tres. Un, dos, tres. What do you want to do? Tell me what you want to do. You want to stay home with Papa? But Papa is not going to stay home. Yeah, but I have to go to work too. Have... You want to go to the playground with Papa? Yes. Let's go to the playground. Let's go to the playground. Love you. Bye bye. What do we have on deck for today? I just finished editing a paper, answering a bunch of emails, and no, now I'm going to work. I have to give a talk at MIT's physics department at 11.30. It's kind of a big deal for me because I'm originally trained as a physicist, so obviously, you know, the MIT physics department is, is a place that, I guess, uh, it's symbolic in my mind. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Cesar. Hi, Cesar. Sure. Uh, yeah. yeah, these are for my group, so I, I sit right there. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So, what you would do, see how it's got this ball bearing on yeah. it for pressure? Okay. Slide it in. Dating USA is all over the place on your schedule. Yeah, well, because, you know, we're releasing. Coming up. On Monday, so so the stakes are high. <laughs> you know? Bloomberg. 
Yeah, and, uh, we have Bloomberg, we have Fast Company, the New York Times, uh, the Atlantic, hopefully it's going to be all over the place because it has been a lot of work to get that side out. It's Friday morning now. I just dropped Iris at her daycare. Then after that, we have a meeting with all of the Media Lab uh, faculty to talk about the member event. This is an event in which all of the companies that are members of the Media Lab come and we have to show them the work that we have been doing. After that, I'm gonna spend most of the afternoon talking to journalists about Data USA. You will now be placed into the conference. Well, thanks so much for joining us uh, to talk about Data USA. I have uh, Cesar Hidalgo, who is a professor of MIT's Media Lab, as well as Patricia Buckley, Deloitte's lead economist. Before I start, would it be okay with all of you if I record this conversation? It's just so I can transcribe my notes later. Absolutely. Are you okay if I record this I'm conversation? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you want to. Go ahead. So, I, I've been doing um, data visualization resources similar to Data USA in the past, although Data USA is, is the best one that we've done so far, because I'm very much interested on, on how you automate our ability to transform data into stories. The way that I'm thinking about it is, is also in the context of automation, but of automation of you know, something that until recently would have been considered a very human cognitive task. Thank you, and uh, have a great day. Thank you. you okay, have a good weekend. Bye. Bye. You too, bye. Ah, because you have the tangerine on the other hand. Yeah. Correcto. 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 Can mama have one more? Oh, спасибо, Ириска. Спасибо. А Ириска, а. Фандер. Ириска. You are in a seaside holiday? We Okay, Mama, I want to do some flambe again here. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Oh. You want to make flambe? Oh. Okay, 
gonna share. Yeah? Okay, yeah, yeah, we're gonna share. Well, this one is the one that's gonna be more cooked because it's the. Yeah, okay, one. I will share it with my mom then. Okay, Papa. Put on wine. In the glass. Okay. Mama, Okay, so we're gonna make coffee? Yes. Open it up. There it goes. All the way down. Yeah. Now. There. There it goes. Smile. I need to buy big glove for you. Let's go, Iriska. Let's go, Iriska. <laughs> wow, here there's a lot of snow. <laughs> oh! <laughs> this one is from a doggy. A doggy was walking there. Oh, Iriska! And now, Papa. Oh! Okay, let's go home, baby. Sit off. Ah. <laughs> you wanna go home? No. no, but we have to get back home, Eliska. <laughs> you wanna stay outside, play? Yes. yes. You wanna play outside? How often do you think we should update this set? I think we shouldn't do very frequent updates, but I prefer to like at least wait till next year. Like let's let us like have them for these parts. Let's enjoy, let's enjoy ourselves for this week. <laughs> yeah. Like relax, okay. But just okay. as long as we give ourselves to say, okay, no, no more features get added now unless just test it for like a couple days. Okay. Yeah, like, so we are on the hook with them for six months. No, that, totally. Right. No, no, totally. Uh, but I'm so saying cool. at least to go to bi weekly. What's the traffic right now? Uh, we've got enough. 119 <laughs> with, what, with what? one guy running. <laughs> so people are checking out the code, that's cool. Are you happy with it that you say? I'm so happy. My, did you see on Google uh, how Varian said a quote? Yeah. <laughs> Very informative, aesthetically pleasing. He wrote my college textbook. So, should we get some champagne or not? 11.16 a.m. Pop the champagne. Yeah, champagne. <laughs> oh yeah. Congrats to all. Okay, so now, now you're gonna search and le okay. let's see if we're the number one. Oh yeah! Number one! Oh! It paid off! Woo! Now it's Tuesday and it's day two since we launched Data USA and it's always tough to work over a year on something and then have to release it to a world that doesn't know about it, might not care about it, might care about just trashing it and, and having it be ignored. You know, every time you, you publish a paper, you, you know, publish a book or you publish a site, there is a lot of anxiety because you have all of this work that went into producing this one piece of content that you're gonna release into the world and it's either gonna get adopted or, or it's gonna flop really quickly. And, and so far the reaction has been great. People are tweeting about it every minute. Uh, the traffic has remained high actually now is the second day and the traffic is better than on the first day 
which is a good sign because it's actually engaging people and it's, it's something that is, I guess been useful for them. We have a lot of traffic coming from Washington DC, which means that the site is finding its right audience. After all, it's a site of US government data. So the fact that it's being visited a lot from Washington means that it's not only being visited by a large number of people, but by the right people. What's up, hipsters? What's up? So you guys are almost ready? Yeah, we're trying. Yeah? Ah, good, because there's gonna be people coming soon. And this is the Data USA photo moment. So we had like 120 people registered. Did anybody? 144, wow. This is like really hipster stuff, huh? You know, because this is not like an Instagram filter. This is an actual Polaroid. <laughs> what the heck is this? Like, yeah? Yeah. Go ahead, you can stand in the photo booth there. The only thing is, it's a very old camera, and it takes like 15 seconds, I kid you not. Hold it like the Darstyle. Yeah. One, two, three. Alright, so we're going to keep it. But, but this one that we did before? Yeah, the other thing is, it does take a while for the color film to... Uh... So that's, that's mine? So far. Yeah? It, eventually it'll come out like this. This is trivia time. Yeah, it's a trivia question. So. In the US, after English, Spanish, and Chinese, what's the most common language? Uh, um, is it Farsi? Uh, Hebrew? What? Hebrew? <laughs> Hebrew? No, not Hebrew. Can I give a hint? Okay, yeah? Okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, exactly. Russian. No. No. East Asia. East Asia? Uh, East Asia. That's the one after. Yeah. That's the fifth one. Yeah. Archipelago. Oh. Yes. Yeah, yeah Tagalog. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was born in the summer of 1989. Born to be a hipster, but I couldn't see the signs. But when I hit my twenties, my life began to change. Oh yeah. I got a tattoo in a can of PBR Dark frame glass and an old dusty guitar And a taste for country music which didn't make any sense Oh, oh yeah And then again, 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 again I learned That I'm a hipster even though I never tried to drink my homemade brew out of a mason jar To ditch Google and search instead on DuckDuckGo <laughs> And then I go, I go, I go, I go, I go To drink cold brew coffee in the hippest new bar to post pictures of my beard in Instagram To wear tight jeans and play shirts when it's hot outside Oh yeah But I don't mind, don't mind, don't mind, don't mind, don't mind If you laugh at me because I ride a fixie bike If I try to play the banjo in the night Or because my friends all have the same tattoo mm -hmm, That's not taboo So how about you? Were you born in 80s baby and became a hipster too? Mm -hmm, a hipster too Serve. All right, folks, serve is up. We got one hit, two hits, three hits. We got a full round robin here. He hits it. All right. This is a full match here, folks. 